Hello, I'm Joseph Coilo, Children's Laureate, and I'm in a very special library today, the Library at Clarence House, and I'm here to meet Her Majesty the Queen Consort and Book Trust supporter to talk about books and the joy of reading. Your Majesty, I was wondering if you could talk a little about any books that spoke to you in childhood, maybe a book that sparked the imagination. That's so difficult because there's so many books I read as a child. Mm. Or, you know, you went through different phases as a child by loving this or that. Mm. But I think, I have to admit in the end, I ended up probably being a sort of pony mad child with Black Beauty, which oh, I howled over night after night after night. And that was probably one of my favourites. And then you probably, because you're far too young, we had all these wonderful um, old fashioned adventures, you know, wonderful children's mm. stories. And you go on the adventures yourself as a child, you know, Swiss Family Robinson. My sister and brother and I, we always used to go off and camp and pretend yes. we were, you know, stranded with, with just our <laughs> animals for company. And it just, it takes you into a sort of multitude of, of different worlds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it is so special when you find those books that allow you to escape. Mm. Like I, I used to love the Ladybird fairy tales. Oh yes, they were and lovely. And they had gorgeous illustrations, and they were a little bit scary. Did you ever oh, try the yeah. Grimm's fairy tales? Yeah. They were seriously scary. I remember going to bed at night and having, you know, quite bad mm. dreams about them. Well, they don't hold back, do they? No, they but, don't hold back. Uh, and I, th I think children appreciate But that. I think, you know, people, I think as children, Half of you wants to be scared, mm. you know, you want to. Yeah. You don't want to be scared too much, but it's that sort of frisson, isn't there? Yeah. Just being a little bit frightened. Well, it's a, books are a safe space, aren't mm. they, where you can you can be a little bit scared and it's okay. Mm. You can close the covers, get, un get under your duvet. And exactly, <laughs> so. sort of peek, peek out of the top. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what were your favourite books? Um, my favourite, well, I actually have one of them here. Oh, do you? Um, yeah, so there was, so I, again, I was like, really thinking about this. Like, what, what was one of my favourite books? Because there's so many. But I remember my reception teacher reading There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed so, a Fly. I don't know why she swallowed a yeah. fly. Perhaps she'll die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I remember being completely delighted. And it's, you know, the wonderful illustrations, which are by Pam Adams. But also the, the die cut, the holes in the book. Oh, you which, have the holes there. Yeah, you with, saw exactly where the poor old fly... <laughs> just swallows larger and larger, larger animals. Larger and larger animals. But I adored that, and, and I think because it was a little bit, a little bit silly, yeah. you know, um, it felt a little bit naughty. Um, but yeah, I, I have very fond memories of my reception teacher sort of telling us that story again and again. No, it's lovely to have the memories, yeah. isn't it? And uh, would you be able to tell us a little bit, Your Majesty, about your experience reading to your grandchildren oh. and, and why reading together is such a wonderful bonding experience? I mean, it was a lovely, it was just a wonderful way of... of getting to know them, you know, of, of, as you say, bonding, sitting on the end of their bed and, and just reading. You know, we, we took it in turns to, to find our favourite stories. And what's lovely, it, it, it's really got them reading. Mm -hmm. I mean, properly reading. I mean, they are bookworms now. It's so lovely. I, if I go and see them, I find them tucked up in bed, you know, with a book oh, and lovely. saying, Please don't turn off the light. I, I just, I've got to finish this chapter. So, and I think it's something that if it's instilled in you at a very mm. young age, you never forget it. Yeah. You know, I remember my father, you know, reading to us and mm. consequently, um, you know, you turn around and you read to, to your grandchildren. Yeah. And I think I read every children's book. I mean, I could practically, I could practically do them backwards. Uh, Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. I mean, <laughs> it's a real tongue, tongue twist mm. to that one. I, I do often hear from parents saying, oh, uh, my child's made me read your book 15 times. Mm. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, which is, <laughs> yeah. well, it's very it's nice. Lovely. At that age, they yeah. want to go back to the beginning. Yeah. You start again, and then they want it read three or four times. And yeah. I, and woe betide you if you get anything wrong, <laughs> you know, even slightly wrong. It's like, no, that doesn't no, happen. No, that's, it is, it is really nice when you see the, the, the pure enjoyment yeah. that, um, that children are getting out of reading. Mm. And, you know, if you get that at a very early age, it's going to help you so much in future life mm. because the earlier you read, the more you're going to understand, the more books you read, the more you're going to understand about different places, different cultures, mm. you know, 
different ways of life, different everything. Yeah, and, and that skills for life, isn't it? Mm. And it leads to a whole host of, of benefits and, and it's fun.